Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me again late on a Thursday evening and from the garage. Hope you've had a good day. Me, what have I been up to? I've not long got back from Uxbridge, the other side of Heathrow. What was I doing there? I hear you ask. I took a load of uh, people up there to go and visit the RAF bunker. Uh, if you've not heard of it, it's a 60, it's about 60 foot under the ground and it's the bunker that uh, controlled one of the uh, Royal Air Force battle groups during World War II. Very interesting, very interesting guy that did the tour. I uh, got a load of video snippets of it, and I will cobble them together and maybe put something on here so you could see what I did during the day. Well worth a visit if uh, that kind of thing interests you. Just to uh, remind you as well, and I'll show you the thumbnail here, on Sunday at nine o'clock, I will be having a chat with Preston Journalist, friend of the channel. As you know, he had a bit of a problem where he had his own channel hijacked and he's building back up again. Be good to see him and uh, have a chat. It's long overdue and I see some of you are looking forward to it. So that'd be good. Well, what happened a couple of days ago? Now, we had the budget, didn't we, yesterday? And we're all still thinking, what the was that we're we're all screwed over aren't we businesses farmers that's a big one there when you talk about inheritance tax shifts it completely decimated the industry uh and various other things and the day before the budget which everybody's talking about they released some information about what happened in southport now to me that's very succinct and very careful timing releasing that information into the public, thinking that it will be swamped by news of the budget the following day. Now, on that basis, I recorded a video, and this is the thumbnail, don't let them get away with it. Don't let them get away with this. And in that video, I said, we need to make sure that we remember what happened. We need to make sure that we don't forget the memory of those kids, you know, particularly the poor three children that will never live their lives and we need to make sure that this doesn't get swept under the carpet along with many other transgressions i've had a look at the comments that you've made and there's a lot there uh, which i wanted to go through and as i do with these videos get some of your ears viewed so here we go okay first on the list is lane splitter anyone else sick the stench of this government Yes, very much so. Spock, GB27. <laughs> I love the start of your name. More questions and answers, Andy. If he was at home making rice him, which could kill hundreds, why did he go out and stab eight kiddies and two adults? Who was he making it for? Or are we still being lied to? You know what? At the time, they withheld his identity didn't they they said he's not what we think he is he's something else it's not what you think it is it's something else just calm it down oh, and we saw everything happen now in my view a lot of people that came out being arrested for saying and doing certain things i do wonder now like i did at the time to be honest if they should really be there and in light of this i think a lot of people need unlocking i don't know what you think the whole thing's not fair. Uh, Alec Jefferson, Manchester Airport, still not being charged. That's absolutely correct. Out and no sign of a charge anywhere. Uh, Canada Air, CL44, I'm amazed Parliament effectively banning free speech for their own members. Outrageous. That's, yeah, there's videos about this, and I've not covered this myself, but hasn't Lindsay Hoyle effectively banned the asking of any questions to do with this subject? Silence in the House of Parliamentary Privilege. I've heard it all now. Just shows you, doesn't it? Oh, here's a long comment. Uh, this is from uh, Be Read Always 123, where you will be read this time. Okay, we're all pissed off, but 95% will just moan and moan. You all know the UK is dumb and semi Islamic. Anyway, I'm selling my house in 2025, going to live in a much warmer, kinder and nicer country than this small, cold, overpopulated, expensive, mean country. 
If I come back to see my grandkids, I bet I will see you lot the same names moaning on social media in five years' time. Listen, you lot, you're basically wasting your life away in the UK. Sort yourselves out. You know what? I feel like I've just been told, and within that comment, you do have a very good point. You know, there's this there's this movement called Unite the Kingdom. Paul Thorpe, go and have a look at him. And I agree to an extent that we all need to unite. We all need to come together because you have little fractious elements all over the country saying, I'm pissed off with this, I'm pissed off with that. Why is that? No. <clears throat> and nobody seems to be getting anywhere. Thousands of people descended on London on the 26th, and regrettably I wasn't one of them. Wait till next time. I'm coming. And it doesn't seem to have changed. And then you have the thing where Richard Tice come out and said what he said, and everyone lost their shit, and it fractures our side of things. We all need to come together. We all need this common, what do we want to happen? We all need to make it happen. At the end of the day, we put them there, don't we? There are many like you, which are thinking, well, fuck this, I'm off and selling up and leaving. I don't blame you at all if my circumstances were different. But I think about it, hmm, warmer climate so uh, i saw some of this at the beginning of the year when i went on holiday and it's very appealing but this is this is home this is our country isn't it i have uh you know a different end goal in mind which i'd like to see for this country which i've said it involves no parties a smaller english parliament and you know people in there to represent the good of who they're there to represent instead of all this argue, arguing, one-upmanship and everything else. It's utter bollocks. It really is. And look at the amount of stress, drama and everything else it's caused this great, once great country of ours. Well, I wish you all the best if you are selling up and everything. I hope it all works out for you. Uh, Leonard, safe driving, Andy. Thank you. I've just got back. Stephen Slater, no rest until Starmer is held to account. I'm sure he will be if not by his own party, sooner or later. Uh, Gareth, does this news allow people to throw bricks at the police? You don't care about young kids or you will be a ch children's social worker. You're, you're a gobshite cabbie who bores people to death in the back of your smelly cab. Get back to work. Well, Gareth, there's a couple of things I'd like to say to you there. Uh, throwing bricks at police is not the answer. It's never the answer. Uh, I deplore anybody that does that. Now, all of these places where people come out were hijacked by the type of people that do go out and throw bricks. The mainstream media get hold of that, and then they do it, and then they make everyone else look bad. There were genuinely people, mums, dads, grandparents, that were out there saying, hang on, this isn't right. This isn't right. Let's see what other drivel you've come out with, shall we? It was rather insulting anyway. Uh you don't care about young kids or you will be a children's social worker. Ah, yes, that old chestnut. Well, I'm a father and I'm a husband like many other people in this country. I care. I've got two kids. I care about my kids, what happens to them. I care about other people's kids, what happens to them. In this country of ours, it's supposed to be safe. I'm not a damn social worker. Uh, as for I'm a gobshite cabbie, get back in my smelly cab. I cleaned it yesterday. Thank you very much. And you obviously stayed in the video long enough to actually hear what I had to say. So am I really that boring? If you don't like it, sling your hook. Save me the trouble of banning you. Thank you very much. Right. Hopefully the next comment will be more sensible. Uh, Roger White, we won't forget anything, Andy. Uh, we can't because that's how they win. Uh, Raymond Wells said, Andy, I stopped trusting the mainstream media a long time ago. More and more people are. It's, you know, I've been asked a question lately about what what's happening with this channel and, you know, what kind of it. You just want honest conversation about what's going on and you want a point of view, an, alter, an alternative, don't you? It's, it's that simple. And I love reading these comments, even if you get a dick like, uh, the last one, you know, uh, Vic uh, not you, the one before that who called me a gobshite cabbie. 
Uh, Viking, hate to suggest this, but could it be a coincidence that the Speaker is a Labour man and banned anyone questioning Starmer on this appalling omission? They must have known at the time, as the police would have found all this stuff at his, this man's home, yet not one word was revealed, causing all those protests a disgrace. Yeah, you, you are absolutely right. I mean, yes, he's a Labour man, but he is supposed to be impartial, being Speaker, isn't he? But you do wonder what goes on in the background. But when somebody has been arrested blatantly for a crime, uh, in this case, a very horrific, horrendous one. Their life is torn apart. Their cars are searched. Their property is searched. They're questioned. Their friends are questioned. Their family, their family's questioned. Their backgrounds looked into. Every little thing, evidence is collected. Stuff is confiscated. It, 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 you know, the list is endless. All of this stuff would have and had to have happened to determine what he is, why he did what he did and what his plans were afterwards. So why was that information sat on? You speak to any police officer. I, I, you know, I've got retired police officers that watch this channel. I'm, I'm quite happy to have one of you on here for a chat. You can tell me how it's supposed to work, <laughs> you know, and that blows the lid on it, doesn't it? Right, let's have another look at another one. Uh, Brian. Uh, newspapers are tomorrow's chip paper. It's the same the world over. Do you remember when they wrapped them in chip paper? Uh, yeah. Uh, Brian, they only tell you what they want you to know. If I don't tell you, they put on something to deflect the truth. Correct. That's that's the whole point, isn't it, what we're talking about? Dean Martin, first time I've caught your live stream, I just want to thank you for your hard work on Saturday. I turned our clocks back to the 3rd of July. Five more years of these idiots, God help us. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, Dean. Absolutely. Uh, Jack Jackowski, 90% of the murders, etc., uh, where migrants and refugees are involved, are not reported in the MSM. What you have to do is go through all the local town newspapers to find out how many are really happening in the UK today, like that lady uh, who was by a Somalian refugee, the lady out walking her dog had her head caved in by another Somalian refugee. Yeah, there, there's just too many to count, isn't there? And it is just not safe. And, you know, where I where I went to Uxbridge today, obviously I was in the London area, and you, you talk to people about that area and the surrounds and, you know, what goes on and what they're like now compared with what they used to be like. It's... It's a grim picture, a grim picture. Uh, Akhenaten666, that's a hell of a name. I hope I got it right. Uh, the Cold War between the lying government and the true speakers is turning warm. It will soon get hot. It's time to pick a side. I think it's at boiling point. You go, you've got a point. Declan Toomey, nothing to see. Keep moving sheep is what's going on. Uh, Macweff, they do smoke screen all the time. Absolutely. Uh, a few more comments here. Charles Wilson, nice one. Spot on, Andy. I think we all know the motivation behind uh, the M. Rudders. Nice wording. Thank God for the internet. Probably get a knock on the door from the internet police now. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Umvu, it's been a routine tactic by Grubberment for more than 40 years, from my experience. Conceal an important matter with a matter of less relevance to Joe Public. Absolutely. Uh, Andy Matthews, minimum wage rise, bollocks. Yeah, you, you just move more people into the tax bracket, don't you? Uh, Photosia, I do not believe the authorities are in that. Far worse. Their actions are deliberate and considered. You have to wonder, don't you? You really do. Uh, Mohammed, Andy, nice to see you talking about something other than those so-called patriots. Stay with everyday issues, and there is absolutely no need to pander to that particular cult. Mohammed, 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 Mohammed. Now, look, I don't pander to anything. I appreciate your comment. I watch those what you call patriots, and I, I see a. I happen to agree with a fair amount of what they're saying. And, you know, this is all this thing about we need to be united as a people to get this done, you know, to 
change this country. It, it's a mess, you, you know, uh, and you see groups, of, and I like being involved with different groups of people to see what their aims are, their goals are, and is it going to make this country better again? Is it going to, you know, I just like to keep an open book on what people are up to and be there if I can and expose what's going on if I can. That's most important. Very, very important. But thank you for your comment. And the last one we'll have is from, uh, looks like, oh, Michael AR9944. I made a pig's ear of that. I do apologize. Uh, some people have got short memories. They forget what a disaster for our country the last Labour government was. You are right. You remember the note in the drawer. Such a disaster that Labour went out for 14 years. Who wanted to rubber? Who wanted to rub the left's nose in diversity? Who wrote there's no money left? Labour. That's right. Yes, the Tories were no better, but that wasn't a reason to vote Labour back, nor not to vote at all. People could have voted and put none of the above on their ballot papers. I do not consent. I, I think it's I do not consent. In fact, I'm sure it is, but I I get the I get the sentiment, but they couldn't be bothered. They could have voted for reform, but they didn't. So perhaps those who didn't bother could galvanise themselves when it comes to local elections. And in the future, make sure that this is the last time Labour or the Tories, for that matter, ever get into government. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pin that comment because that is legendary. Everything you said, I agree with totally, and I hope people respond to you. That's got to be the comment of my week. You know, at the end of the day, we're in this situation for two reasons. The way the voting system works. And number two, how many people out there just didn't bother or, or felt they just had to vote according to the big two. We don't want them, so we'll have them. And we're in this mess. At the end of the day, get out and vote. Some people think, I don't want to consent to the system by giving them my consent in form of it. But they will just do what they like. We've seen it. We've seen it. Even if millions of people come out and go, I do not consent. You know, you've got to do something. Otherwise, we're going to get stuck with this forever, aren't we? Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Apart from one pilchard, I think it was pretty much you You were all fairly along the same wavelength as each other, what I was trying to convey in the video. Not bad for a boring, smelly old cabbie, is it? Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That does help uh, YouTube move me around the algorithm and help promote the channel. Doing really well. 108,000 subscribers and climbing. Very much appreciate your support and to the channel members as well. Marvellous. Share me on your socials uh, if you're on there at all. You can hook up with me across on those platforms as well. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Toodaloo.